What topic of A-level computer science fills every student with dread? A topic that the sheer mention of the name makes people instantly angry. One that makes students rethink all their life choices and makes them feel nothing but crippling fear. Well that would be binary. Big bonkers binary. More specifically... Oh, Salutation everyone. My name is Alan Snackler, and today we're going to be talking about signed and unsigned binary. Make him stop! Would you like to shut the fuck up? Hey guys, I'm back! Huh. So, it looks like I'm going to be taking over now. In computers, data is stored in only two states, on and off. This makes data obviously unable to be processed in the same way humans can, so computers use binary. Binary is a base 2 data structure, just like how decimal is base 10 and hexadecimal is base 16. Most of the binary work done in GCSE were all unsigned binary numbers, meaning that they were all positive. Whoever's editing this section, can you just add the positive bit there so then when I open my hands it says Positive, that would look really cool. That would be cool. Cheers, mate. Now, how do we communicate if a number is positive or negative? Well, let's find out. <laughs> negative denary numbers are easy to represent. You just put a minus in front of it. Come on, guys, it's not that hard. But making a binary number negative is a lot more difficult, as the computer can only process ones and zeros. So what do you do? A simple way around this problem is to assign the highest order bit, the one on the left, to represent if the number is positive or negative. If the number is positive, the highest bit is zero. And if it's negative, it's one. This is called the most significant bit or sign magnitude. However, trying to do binary maths like this is pretty difficult and inefficient for computers to handle. Just trust me on this one, it'll make perfect sense in a second. An easier way to approach this is by using the two's complement. What the what does oh, that mean? Will you shut up for more than five minutes? Here the MSB is back and better than ever. However, as we said before, this cannot be used in calculations. This is when we turn to the two's complement. Two's complement may sound tricky to begin with, but is actually a lot easier than one might think. To find the two's complement, we have to co find the corresponding positive binary number. Let's say we want to find the two's complement of 42 to get minus 42. First of all, we write down what that 42 is in unsigned binary, which is 00101010. Next, we invert the code so the zeros become ones and vice versa. This leaves you with 11010101. Now, all you need to do is add one. In this example, because there's already one in the writer's hand column, it carries over to the next one along, so you should be left with 11010110. Remember, to get the two's complement, you have to write the binary number out as 8 bits long, otherwise the equation may not work as planned. You got all of this? Good! Let's say you want to do this on 44 minus 13. And why would we want to do something like this? Let's say you want to do the sum 44 minus 13. What do you do first? Well, grab some pen and some paper, for we're going to do... Alan teaches you how to do maths, but binary... Yeah, I've done this ten times, just, just, keep, just keep that. Now, write down the numbers in binary, so 44 becomes 00101100 and 13 becomes 00001101. Two's complement it and 13 now becomes 11110011. Remember to always add the 1 once you invert the binary, otherwise you'll get the wrong answer. Trust me, I did it and I look like a complete and utter tool. Next, all we have to do is add the two numbers together. Yes. Add it. Don't subtract, because that would be bad. The reason why is because the two's complement is minus 13. You don't do 44 minus minus 13. No, that would be 44 plus 13. Don't do it. Listen. So from right to left, it becomes 11111. One plus one equals zero. 
carry the 1 over and over again to the next available space, so the full number is 1000011111. But Aldroid, why is there 9 bits? Surely you can't have more than 8? Well done, Blue. Gold star. Well, the solution is simple. We just take off the ninth bit, so we're left with the 00011111, which translated becomes 31. That previous section just stunk of virginity. And with that, I think it's time to wrap this video up. As the days between uploads get longer and me and my unpaid editor get lazier, shout out to Donald for helping me edit this video. I think it's time to put the foot down, because this is going on long enough. There's still a lot more I could talk about sign and non-side binary, such as binary fractions, but that will be for its own video, hopefully made sometime this decade, not put it keeping my prom not putting any promises on anything. Uh, so there we go. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Alan out. Hey.